Has your RV bathroom been smelling a little bit like lately? Well, it could be because you ate that microwave burrito that sat out all night. Terrible choice, by the way. Or it could be because you have a bad flush ball seal in your toilet. Okay, so what is a flush ball seal and why will it make your bathroom stink? Well, folks, in case you don't know, a toilet in an RV does not have a pee trap. One of your main purposes of a pee trap at home is to keep water in it. That way, sewer gases can't come back up. Well, because you don't have one, what an RV toilet relies on is this seal right here to hold water. You need about an inch of water. If you have less than that, you are going to start getting bad fumes that come up through here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean it, how to condition it, and in a worst case scenario, how to replace it. What we have right here is a Dometic 310, but it'll be the same process for the 300, the 310, and the 320 series. So let's start off with uh, cleaning. If, if it's dirty in here, right, you make a little bit of a leak. How do you know? Well, it won't hold water. It should hold water. If it's not, you have a problem. So what we first want to do is try to clean off any solids. That is a pretty simple process. Um, you can start by just opening and closing it a whole bunch. You do want the water running when you do this, but you're just going to have the water running. Open and close it a whole bunch. That should help clean it off pretty well. If you're still having problems, well, then you're going to want to get a cleaner. Now, you have to be very, very careful on the type of cleaner you use, folks. It has to be something for RVs. You don't want to use your household uh, toilet bowl cleaner. Why? Well, one, especially if you have a plastic bowl, it can really mess up your bowl. That is not something you want. They have very aggressive chemicals in your average household ones. Also, because we use black tank chemical, you don't want to be putting other chemicals in there that are not built for it because it will actually mess with those enzymes. It'll mess them up and they won't be able to do their job effectively. So make sure you have the proper cleaner. Uh, usually it'll be something that sits in there. Some of them you don't have to clean. I recommend taking just a soft brush like this. Just do a little bit of cleaning on here like this. You know, you can just kind of get in there. And then what you'll actually want to do if you flush it and that still, um, you know, so we'll flush it down, we'll clean it. If we're still having problems, then you actually want to get in there, get a little more aggressive. So what you want to do is you want to shut the water off. You can then take a rag of some sort <laughs> Folks, if you're going to be getting your hands in there, please do me a favor. Put some gloves on. I love the game Oregon Trail as a kid. We don't want to die of dysentery. Not a fun way to go. So we're going to get some gloves so we're nice and clean. Ah, I feel like a surgeon about to get into it. Ready? Woo! All right. So you're just going to take your paper towel like this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to clean the top of this seal just like that. Right? Make sure that's nice and clean actually open up that ball all the way kind of clean that ball off like so then you're going to get underneath this is the important part folks is getting underneath that seal and cleaning that as well that's going to be a big part of it right there and that should help uh reseat that another thing you can do if it's really hard if this movement is hard or you're still it's like catching you can take a silicone. This right here is a silicone spray. Uh, has to be silicone. You don't want to use other kind of lubricants, but you can spray a little silicone in there or even better is something like this, which I recommend doing this uh, probably in the beginning of the camping season as well as the end. You'll see this is toilet seal lubricant and conditioner. Super easy to use, folks. Do this from the day you buy your RV. You take it, you pour it in there, let it sit for at least eight hours. I recommend doing it for 24, uh, and then you can literally just flush it down. Do that in the beginning, the end of the season, it will help keep everything lubricated. But let's say we clean it, uh, you know, you lubricate it, we're still having issues, it's just not holding water. Well, then it's probably going to be time to replace it. Um, there is one more test you can do that it's a hot water test trying to kind of reform it. You can pour hot water in here, according to Dometic, and you can actually uh, open this seal up and push down with your finger like this, just kind of gently. That's supposed to help reseed it. I haven't had a ton of luck with it, but it is what they do. It is what they recommend uh, in the owner's manual. But if you have to replace it, you can get a pretty simple kit, nothing too crazy just like this, right? It comes with the instructions, which are super nice, uh, very self-explanatory, you can open that guy up. This really is all we have is this seal right here. So in order to remove this, again, you wanna make sure you have the water off. You're going to depress this lever, Let's push that down, leave it open like that. You're gonna reach around underneath to the bottom of it and grab and pull up, just like that. So you kinda of put your fingers underneath, that will allow you to pull it up and out. 
just like that. You want to be able to pull that guy out. Then what you're going to do, you're going to set that aside. Once again, take some paper towel. What I actually want you to do is clean where that was. You got to remember, you want that nice and clean, folks. There's a lot of stuff that goes down there. You want to clean that out. You also want to clean the top of the ball. You want to make sure that is nice and clean as well before we put the new seal back in. Then going to take your new seal. You want the flat side to go down. It's going to be just like that. You're going to put this guy in here and you're going to find that lip. There'll be a little lip in there and you're just going to slowly work your way around trying to be as careful as you can that you're not dropping it down inside. Whoops, dropping it down inside the black tank because that is not something we want to happen. All right. Just like that, I'm gonna push down on it, make sure everything is seated the way it should be, and we're feeling good right there. Once that is on, just like that, you're then going to close the ball, make sure everything is working the way it should. There we go, getting a nice good seal. And then, once again, you're going to want to take a little bit of silicone. Like I say, either spray that silicone in there or put the lubricant and conditioner. Let that sit for eight hours before you flush it. Uh, flush that down, and then you want to do a hold test. Now, if you did the, you know, the liquid uh, conditioner like this one, obviously, if it disappears, then you don't have a good seal. You need to, uh, you know, take it out and reposition it till you have it in there. If uh, you do the spray, spray it, and then just put some water in there. You know, again, let it set for several hours. Make sure you're not losing water. All right, folks, and that wraps this video up. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you've done this uh, and you have some, some pro tips, feel free to leave those in the comments section. Or if you had some issues, put them in there as well. That way we as a community can help everyone troubleshoot their toilet issues. Till next time, we'll see you later.